Five years ago, we lived in a small house in the town. It only had three bedrooms, and it didn't have a garden or an attic. One day, we went for a walk. Sammy was small, and he couldn't walk very fast. Come on, Sammy, hurry up! I said. Then he saw a gate. He opened it, and he went into an old garden. Hey, come here, everybody, and look at this! Said Sammy. Wow, it's an old house. Let's go and explore, said Dan. We pushed the door. At last, it opened, and we walked into the old house. It was very dark inside. We opened all the windows, and we explored the old house all morning. What an amazing house! I said. Dan looked in the kitchen. Tina found a room full of old sewing machines. I stayed in the library. Tom looked at the old paintings and photos on the stairs, and Sammy went outside. He found a big garden full of fruit trees and roses. Soon it was time to go home for lunch. When we got back home, we told Grandad about the old house. We described the house and all the interesting rooms. Sammy told him about the wonderful garden. Grandad asked lots of questions. He was very interested in our adventure. I know these things. That sewing machine belonged to my father. This book belonged to my mother," said Grandad. Grandad looked at the note. He recognized the handwriting. It was a note from his aunt Jane. Then Tom gave him the old photo. "Is that you, Grandad?" asked Tom. "Yes." And that's my grandfather, the general," said Grandad. "Ah, I know that smell. George, our gardener, planted these roses. I think the children found our old house, father," said Daddy. Later that week, we started work on the old house. We painted and repaired the house. Sammy and Mummy worked very hard in the garden, and soon it looked just like it did before. We moved back into the old fantastic family house. We all live here now, and we hope you liked learning about our adventures. Goodbye. Goodbye.